This movie could have been an 8.5 out of 10. Could have been. Hey, what's up guys? It's Josh here today. I want to do a little movie review on a movie called Antlers from, I think it's from 2021, maybe 2022, but I think it's from 2021. Basically, it is a newer horror movie. I heard about this little bit of a hyped horror movie. I asked my friend about it and he's like, oh, is it Antlers? And I'm like, no, it's definitely not Antlers, but that's interesting that you heard somewhere that there was a hyped movie named Antlers. So the basic synopsis of this movie is it's basically about a cryptid and a cryptid is basically any animal that's not been discovered. But most of the time when people talk about cryptids, they're like human animal hybrids You know you hear about like Bigfoot or like werewolves things like that So it's almost kind of like a deer now It's not really giving away any spoilers and I do want to say this is going to be a spoiler free review So I'm not going to give away too too many details But you could kind of see very early on you see those antlers You see that there's some sort of a beast in there So you kind of get that idea and it's basically revolves around this boy's teacher and the boy has some issues going along Along at his house and that kind of has something to do with the whole cryptid the whole half deer man thing that you got going there so that's the basic synopsis of this movie so let's get into the pros of this movie the pros is that it had actually a few really good scenic shots I can remember more in the opening and more in the end but I felt overall the acting was good I didn't really feel like anybody had any cheesy uh, lines and there's also I guess the direction of the actors were was pretty good as well because nobody really seemed fake nobody really seem cheesy mostly everything as far as acting worked for me in this movie another pro of it is that it's a unique idea there's so many good horror movies but a lot of times they're just retreads of things that we've seen before you know like paranormal movies or slasher movies things like that movies we've seen a million times although we do like them so this is kind of like a different take I've never seen anybody do a cryptid themed killer or a cryptid themed sort of beast that's after everybody but you kind of do have that in this movie and I do appreciate the uniqueness. And then the last pro of this movie is that I felt that it had very good pacing. Now, I'm somebody who I get taken out of movies very easily. I felt like this movie got to about the 40 or 50 minute mark and I thought it was at the 20 minute mark. That just kind of goes to show that I was completely engaged. It's got very good flow. It moves very, very good. And it caught my attention. I wasn't taken out of it. I wasn't thinking, oh, this is boring scenes or dumb scenes. It just had a very, very good pacing. And again, that's probably one of the best things that I liked about this movie. The mixed aspects is the CGI. There are a few times that it actually, the CGI in this movie actually is pretty decent. Not bad at all. It doesn't even seem like CGI. There was a few times, I think mainly in the beginning, to where it looked like, wow, that's no question that that's CGI right there. And it kind of does slightly hurt the movie. But again, it's kind of in the mixed aspects because there were some times where they 100% pulled it off. But then there were some times where it was very noticeable. The main con I had for this, or a lot of the cons I had for this was, it didn't have as much style as I wanted for a horror movie. I didn't really notice that until I was watching this movie, but horror always has a lot of in your face action, a lot of colors, a lot of just kind of like a wild ride in a sense. And this movie is very, very safe. You think of the it clown, very in your face, very colorful, or a Halloween, very in your face, very captivating. It's hard to describe. This movie was just, it was almost like it wasn't supposed to be a horror movie. It was supposed to just be like a period piece or just not really a horror movie because it, it just is it just doesn't pop off the screen like a typical horror movie. It's shot just kind of like an average drama. I really enjoyed the beginning. I just expected it to kind of turn up get more colorful get more crazy and I felt like it never did there wasn't enough pop in the kills now they kind of do a good job of showing you a little bit of the beast when the kills going on but never really showing you the full thing till near the end but I just felt like for some reason the pop on the kills wasn't very interesting and there was a there was a scene at the end where things begin to pop off and I found it to be very 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 underwhelming simple and I just wanted there to be a little bit bigger kills in this movie for me personally and I do not think it was a a very smart or unique way to end the movie it doesn't really show you like I said too much new it doesn't really take you to too many other places I'm not gonna kind of go into spoilers but they don't do enough to make you feel one way or the other I mean even in something like Halloween sometimes you could end up you know, being for Michael or you could be, you know, I don't know, you could view Michael as just the ev most evil guy ever. It's very easy to pick your side. This movie was like, you're kind of like feeling bad, but then you're kind of like not feeling bad because there's this family aspect and it's like, oh, the beast is bad, but the beast isn't that bad, but the beast is bad. It's, I just didn't know which way to feel. And like, even like I was saying, you could watch a serial killer movie where they make you just hate the serial killer and you want him to die. 
Or you could have one where it's just more of like a, a slasher where you end up liking the guy. You're kind of rooting for him, although he's doing something kind of mischievous. But for this movie, I felt like I wasn't able to jump in either camp. I never was really invested in too much of any character or side in this one. And then there was a lot of simple and cliche stuff in this. And again, it's kind of near the end. It does involve the kills and things like that. And I do think they had somewhat of a lower budget. So it kind of makes sense that, you know, you don't get the biggest kills in the world. You don't get the most over the top kind of kills that make sense but I felt like it slipped into a very simple cliche type ending it's hard for me to recommend it because the first half and the building and the pacing of this was really good the acting is really good I just don't think it goes too much more places besides that and to be honest I had to look back to see if this one was rated R because this one almost could have been PG-13 because the kills are pretty good but they're just so so light I feel like it's even more of like a PG-13 style story because again it's not like this this mischievous super evil thing it's like it makes you kind of on the fence of whether you should like it or not it's hard to describe this movie could have been an 8.5 out of 10 could have been now I would say it's about for the range of all movies probably a six and a half but for horror movies I would give it a seven just because usually horror movies are cheaper they're kind of more simple they're hard to make a great it's it's harder to make a great horror movie just because of you want it to be r-rated so you limit the audience and then you know usually it's just a simple slasher it's all these things going in to it make it you know hard to be a big blockbuster type movie so I would give it a 6.5 for normal movies or a 7 for horror movies and for buy try or pass I would say give this one a go but again if you're somebody who listens to what I'm saying right now and just doesn't sound for you doesn't sound like you want to get into it I totally understand but I do think this one's right in the middle something you should check out again it was worth the watch I just wish it had a little bit better ending and conclusion but anyways guys have you seen this movie what did you guys think of it I'll be very interested to see down below we're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I couldn't do it without any of you guys help you guys are the best I'm having a great day out here hopefully having a great day at home see you all in the next video peace